One can never go wrong with cookies in the morning. Pia Bonalos takes us to Cookie Pam Pastries in Pasig City this morning. Hi, Pia. Hi, Claire. I'm just so happy to be surrounded with different kinds of cookies this morning. I'll be telling you about Cookie Pam with owner Pam Chua. Hi, good morning, Pam. Hi, good morning, Pia. First of all, Cookie Pam, how did it all start? Um, it's a bit of a joke. I used to be an office worker. I used to work for a bank. So, um, when I started trying baking different sorts of um, goodies, I tried cupcakes, crinkles, and then when when my friends tasted the cookies, the first thing, especially the boys, the first thing that they said was, Sarap ng cookies ni Pam! <laughs> At first I was like, um, that's a green joke! <laughs> but later on, the the, it caught on and then mm -hmm. everyone in the office just calls me Cookie Pam. Okay. So that's the, the reason behind it. And I love how the boys have their way with words <laughs> and just really sticking. And I bet that, you know, your cookies really have something for it. Because mga boys pihikan din with food. I yeah. mean, you just don't get them, give them anything and they love it. Mm -hmm. What was the first thing that you baked for them? Do you remember? Um, I tried two flavors, the dark Belgian chocolate chip, uh, this one, and then the white chocolate macadamia oat. The, they like the dark chocolate chip because it's not too sweet. It's um, it has a chocolate flavor, mm -hmm. but don't mind yes, yeah, yeah. Myself. and Go it, ahead. It, it, it's perfect for coffee. That's why they oh. like it. You see how soft that cookie is. That's one of the things that I really, really love. You can see how moist it is, and yeah. That's what I love also about cookies, when it's not too sweet and you know that there's like a generous serving of love with all the chocolate that you have here. Mm, this is really yummy. All your cookies are really this soft. Yes. Um, um, on the outside, you might think it's like dry or crispy, but mm -hmm. when you want to bite into the middle, it's chewy and soft in the middle. And I could see how you have like all the boys going after you after having this cookie. Shepherd <laughs> parang binubugaw na kita. But anyway, so aside from this one, you also have this. Uh, what what was the other flavor? The white chocolate macadamia oat. Um, it's a bit sweeter because we use uh, white chocolate. But um, people who like white macadamia nuts, mm -hmm. they they gravitate toward this because um, we use um, chunks of macadamia. We don't slice it uh, too thin. Oh, okay. I love myself some macadamia. But a cookie and chocolate, ah, I'm so there. <laughs> Oopsies. I'm just enjoying myself. I love how this one naman has that crunch from the macadamia yeah. nut. I, yeah, it is sweeter. This is something like more perfect for like maybe kids and those with reading it sweet tooth. But this one, basta cookie naman, I'm there. <laughs> Can you tell me, like, did you grow up really baking? Um, no. We... Well, it started out as boredom mm -hmm. <laughs> because back in our place, our family home, my mom used to bake when she was still uh, newly married. So that was uh, like 30 years ago. She had an oven, so and it's not used anymore. And we, I tried to fire it up again and then just bake. Uh, the first thing that we baked was Rebel Bars mm -hmm. and then just experimenting from there and then people liked it so I guess there's something mm -hmm. <laughs> in my baking that they like. And of course it's the cookies that stuck. But this is, you also own this with your sister. So my it's a sister. Business. Yes. So how does... Hi Pat. <laughs> who's guys here, parang, ano, parang sisterly love supporting. <laughs> how does that um, partnership work? Is it hard to work with your sister? It's both hard and... <laughs> And it's good at the same time because um, sometimes we do have um, uh, miscommunication issues or we don't see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we have to um, talk uh, talk um, honestly and because it's for the good of what we want mm -hmm. at the end of the day. But we, I like it that she's more OC okay. and I'm more like um, for the sales and then... I'm more like a um, people person. <laughs> okay. But I'm not saying that she's not. <laughs> but that gives like a perfect balance for the both yes. of you for this business. How about for the flavors? Like who comes up with the different kinds of flavors that you have? For the flavors, especially for the red velvet, it's the our friends or clients requested for this one. Mm -hmm. For the rest of the flavors, like it's mostly from requests. Okay. <laughs> but the original flavor was the invention, the dark chocolate chip, the our bestseller. It's the creation of Mrs. Wow! So, after 
sure everything that you said about her, my saving grace yes. naman pala your sister. That's <laughs> nice. But I want to know about your red velvet. Yeah, because that's it's like a very popular flavor and you made it into a cookie. Yeah. Um, the, the, the oh, red velvet that we know, the cupcake that we know is um, the base. The cupcake is red, of course, mm -hmm. and then there's a frosting of cream cheese frosting. Now, we wanted to focus on the cookies itself, and we don't want to um, combine it with other products. So, we created the red velvet in which the cream cheese filling is inside. Yes, can you see that? There's like a nice, can it there's a nice um, frosting right there in the middle. In the middle. And it's nice just to sink your teeth into it. Mm, it gets there's more in, in the, the middle. middle. <laughs> I love I love how you because there are some red velvets in cupcakes or in different kinds now. Parang they make diet the cream cheese. This one oh. I know that is real cream cheese because you could taste the contrast of the cream cheese and the sweetness of the red velvet. This is like a really nice way of putting it and packaging like an old favorite. We're very strict with the quality and the, the brand that we use. Mm -hmm. So um uh, we don't scrimp on the quality because we ourselves taste the cookies per batch. Mm -hmm. So we know what's what we want. Okay. You and your sister, you grew up really loving cookies or having a sweet tooth? We, we well, personally, like um, chewy, mm -hmm. chewy things. Um, but, yeah, we like anything in general sweet. <laughs> Plus with chocolates. Oh, then. yeah. And so there we guys can all be friends. And I love how you love sweets and still maintain that. <laughs> but thank you so much, Pam, for sharing it with us this thank morning. You. Thank you, thank you. There you have it. For those of you who want to be to have like a heavenly smell like I'm having right now, you know where to go for this cookies only here at Cookie Pam. Back to you, Claire and Hillary. It looks good. Thanks, Pia.